What's good, family? How y'all doing? It's your boy Darius, your boy D Hoops, and I'm back with another blessing. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, ain't a lot. I went to the barbershop just recently, man, and they talking about it's gonna be like an hour because they're doing electrical stuff on the building. So I gotta come back in an hour. It's been a then dude apologized. I was like, my nigga, you good. Like shit, I just need to cut. But shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all finna get the raw and uncut version of me right now. You know what I'm saying? The skin look good, too. The skin look very good. But yeah, man. That's all good, shit. I know it's a song. That's why I'm making a video right now. You feel me? Hey, no excuses. But guess what, man? Hey, we got some new subscribers. So, you know, hey, I welcome y'all to the family, man. To the people that subscribe every day. I really appreciate you, man. This is a, it's a blessing. I can already see the... I can see the channel growing, man. Just, hey, but all credit go to God, man. You feel me? Because without God, you know... A lot of y'all wouldn't even come across these videos. So I appreciate you guys. But shoot, this video, I know you see the title, man. And you're probably wondering, how am I supposed to know your purpose and your life, right? Well, you got to realize, man, we all one under God. You know, whether you, whether you don't like my skin, whether you don't like me, whether you don't like anybody, regardless, we all come from the same parents. So you got to... Put it to consideration that, you know, being an empath, I feel what you feel. So if you feeling sad, whatever, you feeling mad, happy, I'm going to feel that too. And the thing is, when it comes to our purpose, I'm able to feel that as well. Because I know what my purpose is. But the thing is, though, we all, you know what I'm saying, have a purpose in life. Majority of the time, what, what do people usually say when, like, when you ask them what you want to do in life? Majority of the time... A high percentage of people want to help somebody do something, whether that's be a doctor, therapist, a lawyer, you know, working for the government, like by doing this little CSI shit, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to help people with crimes and all that. Like majority of people want to help somebody by being better, you know what I'm saying, than who they were the day before or just in their life. And for our purpose, to find your purpose, man, like what our purpose is, we got to realize we came here for a reason. And you got to know that by coming to this planet, planet Kai, planet Earth, you know, Mother Nature, we got to understand that we are here for a mission. This is a test. Y'all know, like, when you in school, you know, a lot of times y'all motherfuckers ain't study for no test, but that test is there right in front of your face. And majority of the time, it's whether you pass or fail. And majority of the time, all y'all are smart to where you don't have to study. But with this test and life, you I every day is like your study guide. If you, you feel what I'm saying? So like knowing your purpose, you gotta know the study guide. So by doing that, you have to find yourself because you can't just wake up and just be like, Oh, I know my purpose because you don't, because you don't even know the basics. Like you don't know the basics of life yet. You don't even know the truth about, you know, your creator. You don't know where you come from. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't even know the background, you don't even know your past life. So how are you supposed to know what your purpose is? You don't even know what you love in life, you don't even know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it. To the person watching this, whatever your name is, I'm going to call you... I'm going to call you Skip to my Lou. So, Skip to my Lou, you watching this, right? Who are you when you're in your room by yourself, the door closed, door open, whenever you're just chilling, listening to music, watching TV, when you're laying down, listening to the fan or music or looking up at your ceiling? Who are you? When you're in that moment, who are you? Because when you go out into the world... You're a different person, damn near. A lot of y'all aren't really who y'all are outside of the world. Because y'all play y'all play a character. A lot of us do play characters. And but it's like, who are you when you are in your room by yourself, thinking about all those things, going through all that stuff? Who are you? Like, you know, what did you come here for? What is your like what do you want to do in life? You know what I'm saying? How do you contribute to living a better life? Do you contribute that by being selfish and doing things that benefit you? Or do you do things to help other people because you see that God's going to always bless you, but you know a lot of people don't have what you have. So you rather see other people happy because regardless, you know that you're going to be happy in any situation. You know what I'm saying? Which one is that? You know, I realize we all have different agendas. We all have a good agenda. All of us have a bad agenda. You know what I'm saying? But either way, it's a balance. And by knowing that you have to know who you are at the end of the day, you have to look in the mirror and tell yourself like who you are. You have to look within your soul, look past your eyes and look in your soul and tell yourself like, what is my purpose? Like, you know, we all have something to do here. 
because we're here for a temporary time. And so just by thinking like that, when you see all the people you know that have died or passed away, we have the kind of realization like death is not a game. It's nothing to play with. It's like, you know, it's a beautiful thing, of course, but it, it just lets you know we are not immortal. So it, it's, it's time for us to go and it's time for us to go. But the thing is, though, you have to leave something here because you're going to have generations out of generations that will be, you know, from you. So who are you really living for? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you really living for yourself or are you trying to build that dynasty, that legacy for yourself? And you did it so well that your family is eating off of you while you're gone, years after you're gone. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you got to think within the aspect of what God would want for you. Because a lot of times we're so selfish and it's okay to be selfish at times, but that shit can get in the way of, you know, our mission. You know, we have to, we have to sit here and we have to really think like, why am I here on this earth? Because you, like, do you really think you came here to work for a motherfucker? Do you really think you came here to, to wake up at five or six in the morning to go work for somebody who would fire your ass for a fucking TV? Come on, bro. Motherfuckers don't even fuck with you for real. You just you you just a you just a nigga with a fucking you know what I'm saying name tag or whatever. You're just in a cubicle, working working your life away Monday through Friday. You get the little weekends off, but guess what? The weekends last like ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, they last ten minutes, and it's just like, bro, there's no way that there's no way that is life. Like to me, that's that's not life. There's no way. Like, we, we sit here as beautiful human beings, beautiful souls. We're working so hard just to get two days off on the weekend. And then you right back at it on Monday. And it's just like, it's that constant cycle of you feel like you trapped. You feel like you're in the rat race now because you got bills, taxes. And then you got to take care of your car insurance, phone bill, mortgage, all, you know what I'm saying? All this shit. And it's just like, man, you can't even live a life you really want to live. And so now we got social media where you got people living a life, you know, just by doing whatever the fuck their their hobbies are. And it's just, and there go you working for somebody else. Man, you got to have a 15 minute lunch, please. And oh, don't, don't let you, don't, don't mess up. Don't mess up because then you're out of a job. And if you ain't able to get a job quick enough, you don't got no house. Now you're homeless. It's crazy how that shit work, huh? It's just like, that to me is not, it's not life. That's not life. Now, on top of that, before we become adults, we we go to school, you know, listening to somebody else's history when whoever is watching this, whatever race you are, you don't even know your own history. So it's like, really, what what is what benefit is that really giving us? Because then once we graduate high school, a lot of us don't go to college. So we just, we get thrown right into the, right into the world. But then with college... We still don't know what the fuck we want to do. And we still got classes on top of classes. Niggas really ain't got time to, you feel me, do shit and take care of themselves. So we just keep on, like, we just, we latch on to that. And then, boom, once college is done, what happens? You still throw into the real world. It don't matter about no degree, this and that. Unless you want to be a scientist, a lawyer, mathematician, doctor, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, cool. But majority of us, man, we just want to, we want to just make money without having to work for somebody. But how do you do that? Know what you want to do in life. Like that's why you have to know yourself. What do you enjoy doing? If you if you have to work, do it by something you enjoy doing. And it's just like by knowing your purpose, you have to know who you are and what you enjoy doing. You have to know your likes and dislikes. You have to know yourself to the T. Because when you know your purpose, at this point, life becomes beautiful. Because now you're you're striving to chase your goals and chase your dreams. And when they start, when it starts happening, coming to you, <laughs> boy, it's a miracle. Cause it's just like you really did it. And I really, I suggest you know, in the fastest way, why not journal? Start journaling. You know, like just talk to yourself, talk to God, pray, pray every single day. You know, give it. If you if you don't um, believe in God, you know, just talk to yourself. Because if anything, you know yourself better than anybody. And, you know, that's, that's the best way, you know, I can put it for you because at the end of the day, it's not going to take, because for me, it didn't take me however many years to know my purpose. It took me a little a while to know my purpose because I was just like, I don't know what the fuck I want to do. I don't know why I'm here. But boom, when I found it, 
It's like the sun keeps fucking shining every day I wake up. The sun keeps shining. Because it's just like, I know every time I look up in the sky, I wake up. It's another great day for me to live my purpose. And what am I doing? Living in my purpose right now. That's exactly why, you know, people keep coming to the channel, man. People keep subscribing. That's why I keep hey, hitting that red button right there. Just speaking knowledge, man. Because it's just like, this is beautiful. And if I can do it, you can do it. The real shit. That's the thing. But I can do it. You can do it. I'm a living testimony. And then that's why I can't wait to like show so many people that no matter how hard life get, man, you can always find yourself. It's never too late. You can be 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old. You can find your purpose. It just takes time to really sit down with yourself, look in the mirror and ask yourself, who am I? Like just talk to yourself because you don't give yourself a chance. You're always running around doing shit for other people. But are you really living for yourself? You're really not because you're always doing something for somebody else. But what are you doing for you? How are you taking care of yourself? You know, you, you really don't because you have so much going on and it's, it's understandable, but you got to know like, this is your life. You got to live your life. You got to do things that's better for you. If you know that job is stressing you out, if you know that class stressing you out, get rid of that shit. I don't care what anybody says to you or if people try to bring you down or try to scare you. Man, fuck that. This is yo, this is you. God put you here for a reason. Our creator put you here for a reason. Don't let nobody try to make you live your life for them. Live your life for you. That's the thing we've been programmed since we were so young. We've been having to hear what somebody telling us what to do. Tell yourself what to do. It, it's you, you grown now. If you've seen this, you, you probably grown. If you, if you've seen this and you young, the, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm helping you for your future self. There's going to be a time you're going to have to put on your big boy pants, grab your balls, grab your clit, and you're going to have to speak up for yourself. Because mommy and daddy can't hold your hand forever. And all you, and on top of that, when you're out in the real world by yourself, rocking it on your solo dolo, you got to have that armor of God. That's, that's, your, that's, your, that's, your, that's your weapon out here. All right? You got to live for yourself, man. Just take, just take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Drink your water, eat right. That's a lot of things. A lot of y'all don't know your purpose because you eating junk food. Stop stop watching television all the fucking time. Stop playing games all the time. Stop being on social media all the fucking time. Eat right. Take care of yourself and really live because you're really destroying your body for your future self. Whatever you do now, whatever you focus on now will, will literally help you for your purpose because it'll give you that leisure. Like, what, I, what do I want to do? And when you keep on asking yourself that, and ask for the signs. Literally speak, speak into the universe and ask the universe to give you some signs. Be like, universe, creator, please give me a sign for my purpose. But you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention. There's a, there are opportunities are everywhere. God works in mysterious ways. So, you know, hopefully this video helps y'all, man. I really appreciate all the people that are subscribing, you know, every day. I love this shit, man. I do. I got a lot of videos coming, man, every single day. So don't, hey, just know you ain't going to miss nothing, man. I got videos every day for y'all. So hopefully y'all enjoy this video, man. I'm gone.